Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. Grains, potentially the most important food ever in the history of humans. Even though I don't like it for a few reasons, but today we are getting into the history and the time of year where grains would have been the top in our ancestors' diets. Now most of you watching I see are either from the north of Europe or have ancestry in the north of Europe, so this is especially true for our case. Uh, but even in the south of Europe and pretty much anywhere else in the northern hemisphere, grains would have been eaten most at this time of year from the late winter until the early spring. Why? That's very simple, and that's because not much else is growing in nature during the winter time. No fresh fruits and vegetables, and it doesn't make much sense to be killing off your livestock to eat in the winter either, because you've just taken care of them and fed them all winter, and now soon you'll be able to turn them out to graze in the spring. So little meat in the late winter diet too. So we're looking at this time foods that can be either hunted wild uh, and of course dairy and animal products but more importantly foods that can be preserved the grains is top of this list the grains are a food with some of the longest shelf life many months after their harvest when most other food would have gone bad the grains are still perfectly good to eat now and for a lot longer too most of the grains can be eaten at least a year after their harvest, making grains one of the most valuable food sources for humans ever, because we could feed ourselves even if there was no other food around at all. The grains would always be there. And it's because of grains that human civilization was able to grow to the size that it has. This is also the reason why I hate grains. <laughs> People first began eating grains about 75 years ago, we think, in the Middle East. This is very ancient. These early grains, einkorn and emmer, these are ancestors of today's modern wheat. So we have definitely eaten these wild grains for a very, very long time, but we didn't start cultivating grains until about 10,000 years ago. And even much later than that in certain places, depending uh, where you are. And what happens whenever and wherever in the world people start cultivating the grains and putting them into their diets is the same thing. Humans go from hunter-gatherers to an agricultural society and civilization grows from small tribes to big cities. The same thing happens everywhere. Grains are eaten in the large scale. Without grains, societies would have never have developed to what they are. However, what also came with grains is a couple problems such as deterioration in health, weaker bones and bone density, smaller stature, cavities, and plenty of other diseases and health problems that were not there among the earlier hunter-gatherers. These things we all know from the archaeology actually. On top of that, when grains come in, societies become less free and more hierarchical and they become more cruel actually and disconnected from nature than their hunter-gatherer ancestors were. So this is why I really hate grains and it's not really a part of our ancestral diet for very long. About 10,000 years if you have Middle Eastern ancestry uh, but as little as 2,000 years if you're from the north of Europe and even less than that depending on where the world you may come from. So the ancestral diet uh, would be primarily aligned with things like the keto or the paleo or the hunter-gatherer diet. These are the diets that we had for the longest times, even though it might not be in the most recent history. But before about 10,000 years ago, there were little to no grains, and I tend to follow that. However, if I do eat grains, it's at this time of year from about February until April. Wheat oats, making it into bread and oatmeal, porridges, barley and rye, which you can also do a lot with, and don't forget the beers and ales, which we actually have some sources that the Germanic peoples in the north of Europe, the only reason that they grew grains about 2,000 years ago was because they wanted to use it to make alcohol and not even eat. Uh, well, usually I don't like beer at all, but I do have a little bit of beer at this time of year, and I might also indulge in other uh, grain, wheat, flour based products like pastries, buns, cakes, those kinds of things, which by the way, 
all tend to be in traditional European winter slash early spring eating uh, dishes. So again, I'm primarily against grains in regards to the ancestral diet, but for the seasonal diet, we do have at least a few thousand years of our history uh, heavy on the grains in these next few months starting now. So let us all know. Have you got any plans, any grains you like best, any favorite recipes? But that's all for today.